So this is the uh, overview of our cabin number 14602 on PNO Iona. We sailed in May of 2024 and we did a cruise on the Norwegian fjords. Now this cabin is on the port side so if you're interested in sort of being on a certain side of the ship when you are actually sailing you might want to bear that in mind so for example the Alden Sailor Wear uh, there's a lot more activity on part, as part of the Sailor Wear where the locals come out and do a bit of a sing song and have a bit of a fun some music uh, from the port side if you're in your balcony on your balcony you don't actually get to see that it worked out quite well for us though because we quite liked having a nice little bit of a relaxed Sailor Wear of an evening after our busy day visiting the uh, port so let's go in and have a look at 14602 then. Uh, you'll head into the room and a Gemma will come off the balcony there. Uh, when you get there, your luggage will actually be sat outside the room and you will get a sheet on your bed so you can pop your luggage straight down onto the bed without damaging anything. Uh, bed has plenty of pillows on there, you cannot go wrong and you do have some mirrors there above the bed. Uh, decent headboard there, nice and soft. Each side of the bed does have this little bedside cabinetary with the light switches uh, and that gives you access to the the lamp reading light and this USB A is hidden away rather sneakily underneath and there you see the lamp and the reading light reading light very useful at night and the storage isn't huge but you can pop a couple of things down there both sides of the bed do have the same facilities though and of course you get your tea and coffee making facilities in the room decent kettle and uh, this gets refilled regularly there's milk coffee tea and yeah decent sized TV in the room as well there's your phone very useful if you want to phone down to get room service or phone another cabin and there is a little bit of storage here just in underneath the TV which includes your fridge it's a typical hotel fridge not huge and it isn't super cold but it does get the job done you can pop your drinks in there just above the kettle there, there's a few uh, bits of paperwork which we'll probably go over in more detail towards the end of the video. This couch super comfortable and that little stand very heavy difficult to move. The TV we mainly used it we did watch a couple of films but uh, of course when you arrive in the room you do need to watch your cruise video to go through the health and safety regulations on the ship. They will insist that you watch that so you can't really go wrong. Over to the storage you've got a full length mirror there and also a full length wardrobe apart from the space at the top that's reserved for the life jackets. The middle one here should have a few shelves in it, plenty of room for your t-shirts and socks and undies. And of course there's a hairdryer in there, which Gemma said worked pretty well. It wasn't the best, but also it was it was usable, so that's good. Over to the far side, we have this sort of half-length wardrobe area. We'll go into a little bit more detail on this one for you, a little bit slower. Uh, yeah, I pretty much hung all my shirts in there and you get a decent safe in there and there's a little storage cubby at the top there which I threw a few t-shirts in safe's not huge, you can probably get a decent amount of stuff in but maybe not a full size laptop uh, back over at the other end of the room we get the Horizon magazine here, this is delivered daily and will be popped in the little pigeonhole by your cabin entrance and this will just detail all the goings on on the ship, any shows, cinema listings, quizzes, talks, anything like that will be in that and yeah, you get a couple of UK plugs over there and a European one as well. Just a quick pan around the room here, just showing you uh, the decor, which was I think was quite pleasant actually. It was a nice, nice room. So quickly looking at some of these menus. This is the breakfast menu in, on which you can pop down your order. Leave it outside your room at 10 p.m. and the next morning you'll get knocked up. Get knocked up. They'll knock on the door and provide you breakfast. And also the room service here, this is all a paid extra, but the prices aren't super expensive. Uh, and the food's pretty decent as well. Flipping to the other side, and you can actually order bottles of wine, beers, spirits, and so on and so forth. And non-alcoholic drinks, of course, as well. Let's head down towards the entrance and have a look at the bathroom. There is some pretty decent storage there for coats, which we didn't need on our cruise because it was so blooming warm. And the rooms, the bathroom's not huge. It's uh, it's serviceable. Uh, you know, there's plenty of room to to do what you need in there. This is as we arrived on the cruise. Uh, the bathroom's a bit of a mess at this point. Decent sized sink and mirror though, and the lighting in there is pretty good. In fact, we couldn't figure out any way to turn off the lighting in here. 
I'm not sure if that's some regulation thing, but we couldn't turn off the light. A uh, quick closer look at that shower. It's a decent shower, actually. I must admit, the pressure was pretty good. You get your shampoo, you get your soap, and there's a hanger above there for drying clothes, should you wish to as well. Pretty much exactly the same shower as we had in the Holiday Inn, actually. And a decent enough uh, facilities, you know. It's kind of like an airplane toilet if you've never been on a cruise as well, so don't be sat on it when you flush it. Heading right down to the entrance, uh, you've got the emergency instructions there on the back of the door just to keep you safe. And there is a little peephole so you can see who's outside. Uh, turning round to the right here, you do need to keep your keycard in that slot there to keep the lights on. And there is a little magnet here you can pop on your door to say, hey, I'm out, you can come and service my room. Uh, one thing I did notice, might be quite useful for you, there's a little lamp there. And when you turn that on, you get a little footlight just by the bathroom door. So at night, you can use that. Uh, to, to light you were heading out onto the balcony now pretty decent sized balcony actually and this one isn't any bigger than any of the you know it's not where fancy some of the corner balconies can be a little bit bigger this is just a standard balcony from what we could tell each balcony has a couple of chairs and a little table and this is what you're going to want if you're doing the fjords cruise because it's a lovely place to just sit and watch the world go by so yeah, I mean, all in all, uh, it was a fantastic cruise and I think we really enjoyed spending time in, in cabin 14602. Jumping back to the TV, I thought it might be useful to have a quick look at the uh, entertainment offerings that you get in every room. It's a, a smart TV style with a menu system that you can use from the remote control. Uh, all the times during the, sh the, the, the cruise you can sort of see your progress there on the map. You can also get a big full-size map of the ship, and it is a big ship, so it's worth bearing that in mind. And you can get your weather updates, and in our case, this was the coldest of the cruise back in Southampton. <laughs> There's contacts. You can dial those from the phone just underneath the TV. And any information that you need about the ship is also stored on there, including medical centre, which might be quite important. And a frequently asked questions section. I don't even think we looked at that until this point. <laughs> and safety and uh, environment information there, because obviously you're on a cruise, you don't want to be chucking stuff over the side. Back over to the TV and radio elements there. It does have sort of t uh, TV schedules and running all the time, but uh, we tend to find a video on demand to be far more useful. Uh, have a quick scroll through some of the films here. Um, it really wanted us to watch Baby's Day Out. They seem to be an action, comedy, and drama. I don't see how Baby's Day Out is a drama, but there we go. But there's a there's a reasonable amount of films on there. Some classics that you can watch as well. And you can probably find something to watch of an evening if you really need to. And I think a lot of these end up being shown in the cinema as well. And there's TV programs as well. A few things to pick through. The Last of Us, if you haven't seen it, is very good. They've got a bit the season of Game of Thrones, House of Cards. We really didn't use any of these though, so uh, we, you know, we, I can't really comment for the quality of them or anything like that. There's quite a lot on there. You could probably pretty much spend your entire cruise just sat in the room catching up on TV series. <laughs> Not recommended. <laughs> I really went through, through to show every single TV series. Only four episodes of The Simpsons though, apparently probably fulfill the entire entertainment system with uh, Simpsons. And uh, there's some children's TV on there as well. Uh, some bits on there. Uh, a few little bits of documentary sort of content which sort of tie into the cruise cruises that are offered by PO and because PO are uh, tied in with the BAFTAs there is some BAFTA nominated series to be able to watch there. And podcasts as well. Uh, didn't fancy listening to Gary Barlow's podcast I'm afraid. <laughs> Over on the entertainment tab there, you can get a bit more of a schedule if you haven't looked at your Horizon magazine, and you can look at all the dining offerings and drinks packages on the ship. Uh, yeah, loads of stuff, just viewable through the TV here. And this is quite good, gives you a little bit more information about some of the ports that you'll be visiting on your trip, which uh, we thought was quite useful too. So, uh, thanks for watching our little room tour, tour there. And if you do have any questions about the room, you know, just pop them in the comments below and uh, we'll be happy to answer them. And also, if you haven't seen our full trip and want to see the whole tour end to end, I'll pop a link in the description so you can just check it out. Uh, it was a really good trip. We had so much fun and 
unbelievably sunny weather. So, uh, real positive for us that, because we, were, we weren't expecting the sun. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you soon.